Hey guys, so today's video is all about types of viruses. Okay, so types of viruses basically was given by Holmes in the year 1948. He divided viruses into three different types on the basis of the host that they occur in. So these viruses are basically plant, animal, and phagene. So we'll take it up one by one. First one being plant virus. Now plant viruses are also known as phytovagin. Phagene. Phyto means plant and phagene means virus. In the same way, animal viruses are known as zoophagene. Zoo being animal and phagene again being uh, virus and phagene being viruses which occur in lower organisms. Okay, so plant uh, viruses can basically be of different types. Like one very common type is TMV, that is tobacco mosaic virus. Then we have PMV, which is potato mosaic virus. Then another one we have is tomato leaf curl virus. Okay, so just remember these names for example, for the exam. Then in animal viruses, we have one very common virus that is polio virus, which is basically polio myelitis virus. Then we have influenza virus. We have smallpox, hepatitis, re some recent one like Ebola, swine flu, which is H1N1. So basically there are a lot of disease caused by viruses. Then we have viruses which occur in lower organisms. That means that they for them the host are lower organisms like algae, fungi, yeast, E. coli, so be, be inside the bacteria. blue green algae so each of them are given a different name like algae viruses are phycophages these are mycophages fungi yeast are zymophages coliphage is E. coli and blue green algae is cyanophages. Okay, these are some important viruses which occur in different organisms. You should just remember the names for as examples for the exam. Then, apart from that, what we are going to study is the components. So, what all components a virus has. So basically components of a virus <coughs> components of a virus can be of two types. One is nucleoid and the other is capsid. First one being nucleoid, it basically represents the viral chromosome. Okay, so this is if this can be a single molecule or a double molecule of nucleic acid. Okay, so basically this is the part of the virus which causes the disease 
and what is capsid capsid is a sheath or we can say it is a coat which covers the nucleoid okay so this is the protective covering okay now this nucleoid can be a dna or it can be rna okay so it can even be a double stranded dna or single stranded dna similar way rna can be a double stranded or rna or it can be a single stranded rna so depending upon various organisms the nucleic acid composition can be a dna or an rna and then it can be a double stranded dna like the bacteriophages t2 and t4 are double stranded then we have some coliphages which is which occurs in e coli which are single stranded dna in the similar way we have tumor viruses which are double stranded rna viruses and polio virus is a single stranded rna virus so remember these examples again that t2 and t4 bacteriophage is double stranded coliphage is single stranded tumor viruses are double stranded rna and polio viruses are single stranded rna now what exactly the capsid is let's take up capsid so it is a protective covering okay what it does is it protects the nucleoid from damage okay now this damage can either be physical or through chemical agents okay so this is a protective covering of the nucleoid and it covers or protects nucleoid from any kind of physical or chemical damage okay now this capsid again the in the way we have studied that nucleoid is either made of a single stranded or double stranded dna or it is made up of single stranded or double stranded rna capsid again is made up of subunits called as capsomeres or cap somers okay so these are the single subunits from which it is made of now apart from that this sometimes there are instead of capsid there are loose membranous covering present okay which is known as envelope so in some viruses instead of capsid we have envelope present these are nothing but loose membranous covering it serves the same purpose and these are basically present in animal viruses okay so these are present in animal viruses and these are nothing but loose membranous covering the purpose is same as a capsid okay now in certain cases there are certain enzymes present in viruses these enzymes sometimes are like lysozyme which are present where the virus comes in contact with the host cell okay so these are lytic enzymes which are present in the virus when it comes in contact with the host cell now let's take up some diagram of plant animal and bacteriophages 
okay so we'll first study the plant and animal viruses so here right now in the slide you can see the plant and animal viruses this picture is basically of a plant virus which is tobacco mosaic virus and here you can see it has two parts this is nucleic acid the dna present in the tobacco mosaic virus and the other one is capsomeres so as you can see there are certain subunits these are the subunits which consist of capsomeres and together they are the capsid which protects the nucleoid basically okay in the similar way we have other uh, diagrams now this is an influenza virus this is a herpes virus and this is a polio virus so here you can see instead of capsid envelope is present so this is the envelope okay here again we have capsid and this inside is the nucleic acid core here we have the nucleic acid core so whether in a plant or an animal virus it will always be made of a sheath a protective covering it can be capsid or envelope and the nucleoid part which carries the information okay so you can see if in all the viruses there are two basic structures now in the similar way let's just take up a bacteriophage diagram as well so we'll study the bacteriophage diagram now here you can see one is the external structure so this is the external structure and this is a section of the phage okay so this is divided into certain parts now let's take up take it up one by one this structure is the head of the virus okay then we have collar and the entire lower structure is of tail okay so the basic structure is divided into head collar and tail okay and now part of tail are the base plate and tail fiber which is for movement again okay and if we see the section if we see this section of the bacteriophage here we have two things one is the sheath that is the capsid for protection and inside the head we have the dna okay so again in bacteriophages we have the dna and we have the sheath now this sheath basically for movement is made into such that we can distinguish the head collar and tail part of the bacteriophage so we have completed various things in this video now let's just revise it all once okay so we started with the types of viruses based on the host that they have now three types of viruses plant animal and one which occur in lower organisms then we saw the example like we have tobacco mosaic virus we have potato mosaic virus we have polio virus influenza virus ebola we have swine flu viruses there then we have viruses which occur in lower organisms like uh, we have algae fungi yeast e coli blue green algae 
so just remember all all these examples as it is important then what we saw is the components of a virus now again components we have two things basically one is nucleoid which transfers the information and the protective covering caps it now nucleoid can be in the form of dna or rna and again it can be double stranded and single stranded in both the cases of dna and rna and we studied example as well t2 and t4 bacteriophages are double stranded e coli virus coliophage is single stranded then we have tumor viruses which are double stranded and polio virus which is single stranded then the capsid basic function of capsid is protective covering to nucleoid from any kind of physical or chemical damage it is a sheath or a coat and in some cases in animal viruses instead of capsid what we have we what we have is envelope now what this an envelope basically is it's nothing but the capsid in the form of loose membranous covering okay now apart from this there are certain enzymes present in the viruses so one of which is a lysozyme which is a lytic enzyme and is present at the place where it attacks the host cell okay so after that what we saw is the diagram of viruses so first is tmv and various animal viruses tmv is a plant virus which is tobacco mosaic virus again the structures are different but the composition is two in all the cases one is the nucleic acid and the other being the capsid or capsomeres which is the subunit of the capsid and again in the animal viruses we have like influenza polio or, or herpes so we have capsid or envelope which protects the inner information which is present in the form of nucleic acid core okay so and the last we saw was a bacteriophage diagram now we saw a section as well as the external structure divided into head collar and tail for movement and in the section inside the composition again is the same the components are the same so we have dna present which carries the information and it is covered by a sheath or capsid out to the outside so with this we end this video and i hope you understood the entire topic please do not forget to rate recommend and share it with your friends thank you